Taurus, welcome to your November reading. I'm Robin Carline from Robin's Authentic Tarot and thank you for visiting my channel. All right, so Taurus, let's see what you have in store for you. Remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. Ooh, okay, so mm, this is your situational energy. This is the Seven of Cups. Lots of opportunities that are coming up for you. This card here represents that there are short term and long term. There could be a little bit of that shiny syndrome object kind of thing or the shiny new toy. So to be aware of that, but um, a lot of like, there's a lot of really good things that are happening and it really depends on what you're looking for. And it, it depends on what you're looking for, but there could be short term, there could be long term, there could be short term that could turn into long term. It, it all depends on what you are looking for because it, it feels like it's all going to be there. You're going to be presented with things. You might be leaving things for something else that's more long term, but you might also be amalgamating and doing a short term and a long term. So it could be like a career and a side hustle. It's, it, it really depends on what is happening in your life right now, Taurus. All right. So this one here, this is the seven of pentacles. This one comes up as your challenge. This one, as soon as I saw this, as soon as this came out, it's kind of like with the situation that's going on here. So I feel that there could be something that you're leaving that was short term, or maybe that you felt was short term, could have been long term. But I feel that there's 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 things that are happening for you where you've just been waiting for the right term to come in and most definitely i do think that it is coming for you again it is what ever is going on because it's all different variables in each person's life taurus so um this it's actually really exciting I feel that this is a challenge because you feel that you either um, haven't attained the income the money that you want or that you once had but it is it is coming it is coming that's oh that's amazing I, I don't think this is going to be a challenge for long is what I'm saying. Like, um, waiting for the harvest. I know that it can be, it can be agonizing to wait and to have patience. Oops. That's interesting, but I'm just going to put those back because it was a whole bunch of them. So next up is the belief energy. There we go. So this one here is the emperor. This is boss energy. This is making those sound decisions, making those like firm, solid decisions. You know, like you're in charge. You're in charge of the decision making. You know how it has to be. You know what it is that you want for yourself. In your foundational energy, Taurus, you have that that um, you have that need for stability, but there is like, it's, it's like that, that growth that's happening. I just, there's, there's so much more going on than just this. I feel like um, either like you're in a short term position or, Ooh, that's good. Um, sorry. I don't do, uh, I don't do uh, reverse cards. So just showing you that, that that was there. But anyway, so um, I feel like you're either in a short term position, you could be in a long term position with a side hustle. Um, but I do feel like there's something else that you're working on, you might be like going to school, you might be learning something like, I really like all of this energy here. It's, it's just talking about like, there. <laughs> There's a lot of things going on, okay? So that's why there's a seven of cups. There, There is a lot of things going on for you. Okay, so for the uh, root of the reading that's next up, 
Okay, we're not taking because that was a lot. Eee! I'll take this one, but let me just shuffle another one, okay? All right, there we go. Ooh. All right, so you have temperance. This one here, that is about being in your balance. That's about being in your element. That is fantastic. Not spilling a drop there. You have the wings here. That's the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra, so incredibly important. So sacral chakra, that is your ability to attract whatever it is that you want in your life. That is being in that happiness that joy that is having one foot in the water that's having one foot on the land that's what I'm talking about with that balance and look there's this pathway here to this sun this beautiful gorgeous sun that is shining down on you giving you that confidence giving you that push forward giving you that boss energy like you're in charge you're feeling like you are in your element I love that this here, like such a gorgeous um, energy with that sacral chakra, knowing that, and uh, I'm really drawn to um, the angel's head here where it's showing that there is um, the vibration. So it's like that thinking, but it's it's like the the thoughts and the feelings and the everything, like that's how you manifest with these wings here and that sacral chakra energy, it's your ability to manifest, your ability to be in that joyous, happy, energetic, like I can do anything energy. So more high quality is going to be attracted to you. That is what I'm picking up from this. And then this one here, voila, this is the Ace of Cups. This is over overwhelming abundance. This is like overflowing abundance and it's being handed to you by the universe. I love this for you, Taurus. Such good, good, good. Okay. Mm, all right. So perfect. This is the perfect energy for you. This is, well, we are in November. We are in the Scorpio energy right now, Taurus. And this is representing that cycles are ending. The old cycles are ending. The new cycles are beginning. So you are getting things out of your system. You're getting things out of your career, out of your personal, out of your financial, out of your um, professional life. Okay. So you are making those changes. <clears throat> Excuse me. This here is extremely, extremely important to have this because you're making room for all of the new things that are coming into your life. And I also want to add here, there's another pathway here in between these pillars. There's that sunshine there as well, just like as you saw in the temperance card. Very important. That's beautiful. Wow. That's so good. That's root of the reading and present energy. I love that. So for your future, let's see what you have. Yes, this is the seven of fire, the seven of wands. And this is representing that you are standing up for what you believe in, but you're also putting that really hard dedication into what it is that you were doing. Whether this is schooling, whether this is um, building those relationships, whether that is your career, your finances, you are making it happen. You believe in yourself. You have that fire. You've got that boss energy. I love that. All right. So then for your internal, there we go. Ooh, there you go. You have the ace of fire. That's beautiful. You have this new beautiful fire energy that is being handed to you again by the universe. So this one here, this represents Sagittarius at the latter part of the month Taurus. So as you are moving through and ending cycles that need to leave, you then at the end of the month, you have Sagittarius to help swoosh okay help swoosh get all of that old energy out and make sure that you are making sure that you are 
um, making that room for the 2023 energy to come in. Like, I can't believe I'm doing the November reading and that next month is December. And then the month after that is January and we are in 2023. So it, it's really exciting. And just to see like all of this energy here that is showing up for you from spirit. You have two cards here. Ooh, wow. Okay. You have the Empress and you have the Ten of Pentacles. That, wow. Okay, this is your external. So this is your surroundings. This is really full, abundant energy. Very, very stable. Stable ground for you. Success, happiness, joy, everything's going well here. That is amazing. This one here, this is taking action. This is the, the soil is fertile. Okay. So the soil is perfect for you to be making these moves forward, for you to be planting those seeds, for you to be seeing that growth. This is about abundance. This is so amazing. This is about like, like nurturing your soul, but believing in yourself so far fiercely again oh I love that I love that boss energy oh my gosh that's amazing all right so hopes dreams and fears let's see what comes up you have the knight and so with this knight of pentacles this is your energy this is your warrior this is you that are making sure that there are no obstacles but this horse here is standing firm. This horse is standing solid and grounded, okay? And this knight is looking at that pentacle, looking at it like it is a, um, oh goodness, I'm forgetting the word right now, a uh, fortune teller ball. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> but with that seeing the future and, and, and like, believing in that future, but having that knowing, that trust, that belief that you are going to ixnay any of these obstacles that may be popping up in your way. All right. So I love this for you. This is awesome energy. Really cool energy. Fortune teller ball. Man, what am I trying to say? And I can't believe I couldn't get that. Anyway, hopefully someone will tell me in the comments. Oh my gosh. So this one, oh, I'm, it's going to bother me so much. But anyway, so this one is your completion card. This one is freaking fantastic. This is like one of, if not the best card in the deck that you can receive, the sun. And so this for you, Taurus, this is like happiness, joy. This is all of this awesome. This is you having that. Uh, so, so see this child here. It's kind of like that inner childness, that inner toddler within you. So this here is you having that mindset of that toddler child where they can only see what it is that they want. So they like your focus is just so laser focused on what your future is for you. Okay. You are so laser focused on what it is that you are going to do to make you to succeed. Okay. I love this. You, There's no naysayers in this. You're not listening to anyone else. You are believing in yourself. You are believing in that energy. You have, gosh, look at this. Like you've got the sun. You have the sun in here. You have the sun in here or over here. And this is absolutely amazing. Like you have that, oh, you know what I just realized? You have like the ultimate power couple. Wow. You have the emperor and the empress. That's amazing, Taurus. Taurus, you have like the most unbelievable, amazing reading that I have done so far for November. That is amazing. Oh, 
Thank you so much for showing up for yourself. Thank you for showing up and listening to me. And thank you so much for all of your support for my channel. I love you all. Mwah.